The focus now seems to be on the fact that people have jobs uh, and they should be grateful they have jobs. And because those jobs are being paid for by taxpayers, uh, they should be willing to take a cut. Unions across Alberta continue to protest cuts made by the provincial government. But finding a sympathetic ear with fellow Albertans has been challenging, with many who are hurting from the downturn in the oil patch seemingly relishing what they see as a day of reckoning. Particularly the, the, the independent, autonomous sort of uh, economic actor who has a lot of insecurity in their lives thinks that public sector employees, because of the security they have in their jobs, um, sort of have a cushy life. It's been a while since the public sector, which saw wages rise during the pre-2014 oil boom, went through wage cuts. The closest most came to seeing cuts was when the Notley NDP froze wages. In the private sector, generally speaking, the, the uh, income is higher, it's just not as, as stable, and so the focus sort of shifts. When people's income is higher, they don't pay much attention to whether somebody else is making less. Um, now that their incomes are more in jeopardy, they're focusing on the fact the public sector has more stable employment. But Alberta's Premier Jason Kenney hasn't gone out of his way to bridge the gap with his office saying as recently as Tuesday that some labor groups were, quote, peddling fear. During the federal election campaign, a lot of people said they didn't like the divisiveness. They didn't like the, um, the, the negativity and so forth. And yet that seems to be the focus uh, of what's happening currently. Whether it's here on the streets or online, it seems the only cure for the anger is an economic recovery. Until then, it's likely the battle between the public and private sector will continue. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.